All right, guys, here we are at the finals. First up, one of our four finalists is Spy Dude. This long street creeper has fought his way to the finals. Now we have the backup driver for RC races, Tyler, showing off his youngster, youngster skills. Then we have Steve driving for Team Cribbage. He may be old and he may drive a strange car, but he's good. Last but not least, we have DD driving for Big Al's Customs. He's been the wild card of this round. First, we have a race off between Steve and DD since they're both tied at 40 points. The loser will have to take on Spy Dude. Looks like neither of them finish, but Steve gets farther down the track, so DD will have to take on Spy Dude in round one. DD sits at 40 points, Spy Dude sits at 48 points. There will be three races in each match. Whoever has the most overall points at the end of the three races will move on to the final. Looks like Spy Dude handles the first race pretty easily, picking up 9 points. DD picks up 6. Spy Dude is ahead by 11 points, and it doesn't look like DD will be moving on. Spy Dude continues to whip down this track. It's almost like he tuned his car for it. Now he's ahead by a large enough margin, he has nothing to worry about. DD will be eliminated. But it looks like DD at least wanted to leave his mark on the race by taking the last one. Spy Dude moves on at 67 points over DD's 56. Now we have Tyler take on Steve. Tyler's at 42, Steve is at 40. Three more races, and it looks like Steve is out in the lead. Tyler's trying to come back. Oh! Crash at the finish line. Tyler really gave it the beans there to steal a line from Chaos Canyon, but you can see he's just trying to fight his way back and couldn't quite make it before the finish line. Steve will pick up 8 points, Tyler will pick up 6, tying them up at 48 points. Now Tyler's out in the lead, Steve trails, Tyler jumps railing and so does Steve. That was Tyler's race, but he lost it, man that's gonna hurt. Both of them are now tied at 51 points going into the final race. The winner will move on and take on Spy Dude for the finals. Looks like Steve is out in front. Tyler's chasing him. Steve gets a little bit of separation and finishes him. He also picks up that extra point in town to pull him to 60. And Tyler's only at 67. Steve trails Spy Dude by 7 points. But these guys have three races to duke it out and see who is the street track king champion. Looks like Steve pushes Spy Dude off. Spy Dude was getting aggressive from the outside lane, tried to get in front of him. Steve would not have it and decided to show him a lesson. Man, that's a long drop. Spy Dude still leads by six points. Steve in the outside lane gets off to a little bit of a slow start. Spy Dude's out in front and trying to shut the door on it. Oh, he flipped over Steve. Steve can't quite get the extra bonus point for making it to town. Spy Dude now leads by 8 points. Steve needs him to crash. Looks like Spy Dude is out in front again. Steve, Spy Dude goes off. Steve has the lead. Steve finishes. He can't pick up the extra bonus point. And I don't know who won. It looks like that crash could cost Spy Dude the entire tournament. That would be horrible. Let's see how the points came out. Spy Dude has 78, and Steve only has 75. So Spy Dude will win the finals. Congratulations to Spy Dude and Aces High Racing. Winning that tournament vaults them into second place. Getting second place helps Steve and Team Cribbage in tied for sec get to get tied for second. These are your top eight teams. I will be putting out a video where you can pick your cards.
for those who have won a tournament with one of the cars, you guys can choose to race in that car again. For the other people who haven't yet won a tournament, I'll be putting out six cars. Well, I'll actually be putting out eight, and then you guys can have picks in finishing order. So Super Team will get the first pick, Aces High Racing will get second, unless they want to stick with the Street Creeper, and then so on down the line. Thank you for watching Roadrunner Raceway!